What's up everyone? This is Levi Young Comics today and this is a Sunday. There was a local seller or a guy who's interested in selling some a part of a huge part of his collection and uh, I'm going to be looking through his boxes. Hopefully I can find it cuz I'm at the restaurant and he said it's behind the restaurant. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If and also if you haven't yet, uh leave a like, uh, subscribe and leave a comment if you got the time. Yeah, I know you guys enjoy this content. I love doing this too. So let's work together. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs> Welcome to my show. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm Tony. I decided it's time to let some of my collection go here, and uh, okay. the kind people at Dona Rosa's are letting us use their room. Um, lots of single issues, all priced up. A lot of trade paperbacks, some um, hardcovers. Okay. You know what? The people with good taste in music, I even brought a few boxes of CDs. Okay. Does anybody buy CDs anymore? <laughs> I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about Netflix, HBO. Yeah. So can I start with your, what do you have like dollar of dollar bins? You know, I mixed them all together. Okay. They're okay. mostly a dollar, but. Um, oh man, did I put a two rock number right in there? Oh, there you go. <laughs> the one rock. thing everybody's <laughs> looking for, two rock <laughs> number one. I made a crack about it uh, yeah. on the on the Facebook. And I did kind of do, um, mainly because I don't want to get stuck with part three of a four-part series, anything that's um, like mini-series and stuff, I just kind of taped together and made, you know, give you a fuck okay. off. So nice. Like three bucks for four issues. Nice, all right. Ranges. A lot of Marvel. I'm more a Marvel guy, but I mean, there's... DC, I'd say probably 50% Marvel, maybe 20% okay. DC, and 30% everything else. Okay, nice. All right, I got some books. Can we to show you guys. What's up everyone, this is Levi with Young Comics, and as you saw recently, in the uh, at the beginning of this video, I went to this uh, mini Comic-Con sale, if you want to call it that. Uh, basically, this was this seller and... You know, he was a collector himself, and I believe his name is Tony. So shout out to Tony. Thank you so much for hosting this kind of small event for the community. And yeah, I picked up a few books that I wanted to show you guys and share with you guys. And let's, let's just get on with it. The X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 158. I believe this is the second appearance of Rogue. So I think that's pretty cool. In the newsstand edition. Uh, X Men two hundred seven. This is a uh, an iconic cover, and I think a ton of collectors love this. X Men one hundred sixty four. I believe this is Carol Denver's as something. And this one's pretty cool. Uh, first time ever seeing Tron in a uh, standard comic book format. Pretty cool. X-Men 168. I don't remember the key significance. And I know this one. X, uh, Uncanny X-Men 239. This is the second... First cover appearance and second appearance of Mr. Sinister. Pretty cool. One of my favorite ones that I picked up was Miracle Man number one. Pretty cool. My first copy ever. This one's awesome as well. The Age of the Century, number one. This is the the origin of the century in a, I guess, Silver Age story, I guess you could say. And this one was funny. Detective Comics, number 27. This is a reprint. I believe this was given out in around 1980-something, 1988 or so, where... DC worked with the company around Orioles and they gave out these reprinted co um, comic books for kids, I guess. And not many people kept them. And it's nice to find this out there. And the Omega Man 
number three. First appearance ever of, right here, the intergalactic. Uh, oh my god, what is his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll come back to my mind. <laughs> uh, next one is um, the New Mutants 26. First appearance of Legion. And the New Mutants 66. I don't remember why I picked this up. Oh, Lobo. Wow, I'm so funny. I'm dumb. Yeah, first appearance of Lobo. And... The New Mutants Annual, what is this, number five? It's pretty cool. It's a minor key, nothing big. And then uh, the last few books that I picked up were The Black Panther, number one. I think this is the big book that people have been, you know, trying to find out over, out in the wild or so. Number 21. And number 22, this is an awesome cover. This one as well, number 30. Number 36. And number 62. But yeah, that is pretty much all of the uh, comic books that I picked up from Tony, from his uh, mini collection, uh, little comic show that he had going on. And this upcoming Sunday, I believe is uh, August 20th, he's having another comic book sale as well same time same place and i am pumped and hopefully i get the chance to go there again it was awesome i had a great time he's such a nice guy he's, he's awesome he had um a ton of trade uh trade paperbacks a ton of uh was it vhs cd dvds and I, I, many more other stuff that i don't remember but i had a great time looking through the long boxes looking for you know comic books to add to my own personal collection but yeah, this is me, Levi, signing out with Yon Comics. See you guys later.